Good afternoon, everyone, uh, and welcome to Evening Prayer. Uh, this is going to be up really early in comparison to what I normally do, um, but I'm in the middle of sermon writing, and uh, I'll be honest, with the sermon writing, there are times um, when you just need to take a break, step away from everything, and I just need to step away for a second uh, while I took everything in. Gracie? Gracie, come here. Sorry, Gracie's in the background doing something. Um, so I'm just getting everything all set up, and we'll be ready to go here in a jiffy. So as I said, this is going to go up a little earlier than normal. Um, I apologize for that, but uh, tonight we record, and so I wouldn't be able to go live at 6.30 anyways. So, um, so I wanted to at least get it set up now for you guys. So... So let us prepare our hearts and our minds for worship. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. Joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ. We have come to the setting of the sun and we, took, we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who led your people Israel by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And we, your creatures, glorify you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let my prayer arise before you as incense. The lifting up of my hands is the evening sacrifice. O Lord, I call to you. Come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer arise before you as incense. The lifting up of my hands is the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evildoers. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God, and you I take refuge. Strip me not of my life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense. The lifting up of my hands is the evening sacrifice. Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O Lord, and let your loving kindness descend upon us, that with purified minds we may sing your praise with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host. May glorify you forever and ever. Amen. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 125. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved but stands fast forever. The hills stand about Jerusalem, so does the Lord stand round about his people from this time forth forevermore. The scepter of the wicked shall not hold sway over the land allotted to the just, so that the just shall not put their hands to evil. Show your goodness, O Lord, to those who are good and to those who are true of heart. As for those who turn aside to crooked ways, the Lord will lead them away with the evildoers. But peace be upon Israel. Lord, surround your people with your presence. Do not let us stretch out our hands to evil deeds, nor be destroyed by the snares of the enemy. But bring us to share the land prepared for the saints in light, where you live and reign, God, now and forever. Amen. Our reading comes from the book of Mark, the sixth chapter. Gracie, come here. Gracie, come over here. Gracie. Sorry. And they cast out many demons and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. King Herod heard of it, for Jesus' name had become known. Some said John the baptizer had been raised from the dead. That is why these powers are at work in him. But others said it is Elijah, and others said it's a prophet like one of the prophets of old. But when Herod heard of it, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised. For Herod had sent and seized John and bound him in prison for the sake of Herod Herodias, his brother, um, his brother, Philip's wife, because he had married her. For John said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. And Herodias had a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but she could not, for Herod feared John, 
knowing that he was a righteous and holy man and kept him safe. When he heard him, he was as much perplexed, and yet he heard him gladly. But an opportunity came when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers and officers and the leading men of the Gentile of Galilee. For when Herodias' daughter, Herod Gracie, I'm sorry, guys. Herodias' daughter came in and danced. She pleased Herod and his guests, and the king said to the girl, Ask me for whatever you wish, and I will grant it. And he vowed to her, Whatever you ask me, I will give you, even half of my kingdom. And she went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask? And she said, The head of John the baptizer. And she came in immediately with haste to the king and asked, saying, I want you to give me at once the head of John the Baptist on a platter. And the king was exceedingly sorry, but because of all of the oaths and his guests, he did not want to break his word to her. And immediately the king sent a soldier of the guard and gave orders to bring his head. He went and beheaded him in the prison and brought his head on a platter and gave it to the girl. And the girl gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard of it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all the saints, let us commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen. And this concludes our service for this evening. So from the Battle of Household Yours, we wish you a good night and God bless. And I have to apologize for Gracie. She got into some stuff this morning. And so um, when I can't see her and I hear her chewing into something, it uh, got me a little worried once again. But I wish you all a blessed night. Good night.